this question asks us to use the right equation for destructive interference, and to do that we need to understand what path difference is. Here we have the distance between two slits, our angle theta. And using trig, we should be able to see that the path difference here, PD, can be found using sine and this hypotenuse D. Remember, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, which equals the path difference, PD, over our hypotenuse, which is D. So we should see that the path difference equals D times the sine of the angle theta. And this is a shortcut that we can do if we've seen this enough times so and we understand it. So that's the path difference, that's how we get the path difference. If we look at the left side of the equation, let's look at what's happening here. M represents an integer, so 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Lambda is the wavelength. So you should remember how destructive interference works when we have two waves and we overlap them by 180 degrees, they will cancel. What's happening there is the positive region of a wave is cancelling with the negative region. So these waves cancel and we get a flat line if you will represent the absence of a wave with a flat line. So you can see for this to happen that the waves need to be out of phase by 180 degrees or that's a half a wavelength. And when we sub in these integers for m, 0, 1, 2, 3, we should see that we will get either um, half wavelength or one and a half wavelengths, etc. Some multiples of a half wavelength, and these will destructively interfere. This is why the equation uses a half, and you should be able to pick up on this if we just use the equation without half, so m lambda, that will be the equation for constructive interference.